20 new species of animals have been spotted on Singapore's Pulau Ubin Island, including a species of spider that's new to science. And these are the findings from the first comprehensive biodiversity survey of the wildlife-rich island. It's part of broader conservation efforts being carried out there, which also includes a 16-hectare reforestation project. Isabel Le with more. A case of mistaken identity. This spider was first discovered in Brunei in 2012, but it wasn't until its sighting on Pula Ubin in July last year that researchers realized it was a brand new species to science. It was this very flat spider, flat and it had this very rough carapace and the way it moved around was also very unusual. It preferred to crawl around. It belonged to the genus uh, Pyranthus. It is a very poorly known genus described more than a century ago. So to find this Pyranthus here and it being a new species was really quite exciting. It's one of 20 species found on Ubin for the first time. Others, including birds, butterflies, dragonflies and bats, are also recorded in a three-year biodiversity survey that's due to conclude at the end of the year. Findings will help the National Parks Board in research, habitat enhancement and species recovery projects, which are already taking place across the island. Through the survey, we have established that there are close to 200 or slightly more species of spiders in Ubin. And uh, this actually provides the sort of science-based evidence why Ubin should be preserved. Reforestation will begin at these three sites, totaling 16 hectares at the end of the year. More than 16,000 native trees such as sea trumpets and collared figs will be planted over the next five years to enhance biodiversity and link up wildlife habitats. The move to build up habitats continues from land to water with the completion of a floating wetland system that began five years ago. What started out as 20 square meters of floating mats made of coconut fiber has now been expanded to over 4,000 square meters of artificial wetlands in Pakan Quarry. It covers about 20% of the water surface and provides a home for animals like herons, otters and kingfishers. As for the human residents, renovation work is ongoing to improve the livability and accessibility of homes and facilities on the island.